The season of giving is upon us once again, and just announced, there are new and innovative ways for you to help accelerate the defeat of aging. Two of the most prominent organizations leading the fight against age-related diseases, the SENS Research Foundation and Lifespan.io, have announced end-of-the-year campaigns to support their groundbreaking work. And separately, both organizations have teamed up with Angel Protocol and the Methuselah Foundation for a donation campaign that leverages the power of Web3 and perpetual endowment funds, so your donations can have an impact forever. As another example of the ongoing crossover between the Web3 community and longevity, the SENS Research Foundation's end-of-the-year fundraiser has launched unique NFTs as a new way to donate. The NFTs consist of video recordings of cell culture activity in the lab, and this unique digital bio art is tied to one of the SENS Research Foundation's seven damage repair research programs. Proceeds from the sale of each NFT will fund this research, and if you purchase by December 31st, you can also earn tokens that you can use to vote for the SENS research program you would like to receive funding. This idea is related to ones previously put forth by Lifespan.io president Keith Comito, who has been discussing new and novel NFT projects to potentially support longevity research for years. For more examples of this, you can listen to his recent interview on the Engine Room podcast, and hear how Lifespan.io has affiliated NFT projects in the works, and Keith's kickoff talk for this year's Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference. The SENS Research Foundation is also partnering with LifeNoggin by Lifespan.io on the creation of short animated videos describing the importance and purpose of each of SRF's seven damage repair programs. These videos will help introduce new audiences to longevity science and help grow the movement. Here's a look at one of them. Many of the cell types that are most important to your long-term hashtag thriving have no system in place to replace themselves at all. This is a big problem for your organs, and it's one of the reasons why you start to feel weaker, have trouble remembering things, and get sick more easily with age. Currently, a few failing organs, like the liver and kidneys, can be replaced through transplantation. But when you implant any foreign substance into the body, like cells or organs from a donor, you run the risk of it being rejected by the immune system. Don't worry, buddy. I thought you did great out there. A way around this rejection is by growing cells or organs out of your own cells. To do this, you first need stem cells. These are like the body's building materials. The most powerful kind of stem cell are called pluripotent stem cells. They can become any type of cell, muscle, brain, blood, bone, anything. Embryos are full of pluripotent stem cells since they are still developing. While adults only have a small number of stem cells, they're very restricted in the kind of cells they can replace. However, in recent years, scientists have discovered ways to make them from a patient's own cells. This is done by taking some of your cells and reprogramming them. In this process, you first transform a mature cell into a stem cell-like state and then turn it into whatever cell you need. Stem cells could be used to grow your own organs outside of the body, and then you can transplant them in later. While a lot of work needs to be done before this becomes a reality, scientists are already growing organs in the lab. And one of the ways this can be done is by using the stripped down chassis of a donor organ as a scaffold that your stem cells can build from. We encourage you to watch and share all of the videos, which you can find on the LifeNoggin YouTube channel. This partnership is one example of how Lifespan.io is accelerating progress in the longevity field, clarifying misconceptions about aging research, and spreading awareness about the possibilities of rejuvenation biotechnology. Our advocacy foundation has big projects lined up, but we need your help to turn plans into action. Next year, we'll be driving three main initiatives, longevity community building, education and advocacy, and decentralized science. Which initiative is most important to you? Show us what you'd like us to focus on by donating to it at lifespan.io or at the link in the description. And separate from the end of the year campaigns of the SENS Research Foundation and Lifespan.io, both organizations, as well as the Methuselah Foundation, have teamed up with Angel Protocol for a new crypto-focused fundraising initiative. The mission of Angel Protocol is to generate social impact by leveraging decentralized finance to align a global community around shared incentives. And in this case, they are focused on longevity. Contributions are currently being doubled thanks to $10,000 in matches from the Angel Alliance, and 100% of donations go directly to help fight aging. Half will be used for anti-aging work that is currently underway, while the rest will be invested in perpetual endowments that will provide ongoing support for this work forever. 
Tackling aging is perhaps the most important quest that humanity has ever undertaken, and it's going to take teamwork and collaboration to get there. We are excited to partner with the SENS Research Foundation and other leaders in the longevity space to drive progress forward, but we need your support as well. Together, we can finally slay the Dragon Tyrant. If you're interested in being a part of the solution, make sure to subscribe. I am your host, Ryan O'Shea, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.